Hello and welcome. You are watching a dot code tutorial. My name is Pierre and I will help you figure out how to make WooCommerce GST compliant. So first we need a WordPress install with a WooCommerce plugin already installed and we will need a couple of products. So we have added a couple of dummy products and we are ready to go. So the first thing that you need is to know what you are going to sell. So assuming that you already have something that you know that you're going to sell and assuming that you'll require a GST because you plan on selling something across the border of different states in India or you just want to sell and your turnover is higher than 20 lakhs you will require a GST number. So let's get started. After having set up our shirt idea we have to figure out the tax slab the tax rate that we are going to be selling it under. So a good website that we recommend is cleartax.in. Uh, you can just do a regular search to find out a particular product that you want. And they will provide you with the HSN code and your rate. So if the particular article of clothing is less than 1000 per piece, then your tax rate is only 5%. So how do we add it to WooCommerce. We've done a bit of work for you in that we have made a spreadsheet that you can import directly into your WooCommerce. Go to WooCommerce and click on settings. Right now you can see a tax tab here. If you cannot see the tax tab, scroll down and click enable taxes and save after which you will be able to see the tax tab. Click on it. Now It'll ask you a couple of questions which are important. So first one is, do you want the prices to include the tax, which means that all your products, no matter what you've labeled them earlier, will increase in price. Or you can make it exclusive of tax and make the G show the GST upfront. We've suggested that you go with a separate exclusive of tax so that people can see how much of GST tax they're paying. Uh, specifically so that they can get returns on that particular product. The second option is to calculation of the tax based on either the customer's shipping address or the billing address. We chose billing address because it will be the safest one because in the end the invoices if they ever are going to file these taxes they will do it from their billing address. That's it on this page. At standard rates you have to insert a particular row which mentions which what country code, what state code, what zip code, what city, the rate, the tax name and the priority of that tax, whether it should be compounded and whether shipping tax should be included. We are not going to consider shipping tax. We are just going to show how to import a CSV file with the rates already prepared. Now we have prepared the rates in a CSV file that we are going to upload to our website. You can add multiple taxes and multiple tax rates, but for now we'll show you just one. Click on import CSV, choose the file and upload it. Once it's done, you can view the tax rate. So you will find CGST and SGST required for within state transactions and the remaining out of state transactions are IGST. We are focused on Karnataka and so this will be default for all the people who are applying this in Karnataka. You can change the rates based on what you require. You simply have to use Excel or Calc if you are using LibreOffice and open it, edit it and upload it again. Once you're done, you'd want to check if this is actually working. So we'll go to the store. Come down to the product. Add it to cart and view cart. When we scroll down to view cart, we can see that CGST and SGST is automatically added to the product. I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching and please drop a comment if there are any more questions.